This week on The Wire, prices double after recessions, consumer sentiment rebounds, and window of opportunity closing. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So our top story for this week, prices double after recessions. So new research by the Property Investment Professionals of Australia has found that house prices increased by up to double in the five years after the most recent recessions, and that was from 1973 to the GFC in 2008. PIPA Chairman Peter Kulazos says, looking back over the past 50 years, house prices were higher five years after each recession or downturn. The research shows that talk of an impending property doom has never happened in recent history, and those recessions or downturns lasted multiple years rather than just a few months, he says. Five years after the recession of 1973 to 1975, Sydney median house prices increased by 101%, followed by Perth and then Brisbane, the PIPA research found. The results were similar in the 1982-83 recession and the recession that we had to have in the 1990s. Gulazos says that over the three most recent economic downturns, there were periods of annual house price falls in many capital cities, but the price reductions were never sustained or prolonged. And now guys, for our next story, consumer sentiment rebounds. So the Westpac Melbourne Institute Consumer Sentiment Index shows sentiment among buyers rebounded in May, rising by a third and reversing most of April's 27% drop. Reassuringly, the index is now only 8% below its average level for the period September to February, before governments imposed any restrictions. Now, the rebound was across all states, led by Western Australia, which is up by almost 70%. Consumer expectations for house prices rose 5%, a dramatic turnaround from the large drop of half in April. The rising positive sentiment is a reflection of eased social distancing measures supported by government stimulus measures. Now, Victoria did buck the modest rebound, with consumers expecting a price drop of 12%. Westpac's chief economist, Bill Evans, says, It is extremely noteworthy that in the midst of this exuberant rebound in confidence, prospects for house prices have hardly budged. The Melbourne housing market does look vulnerable to the sudden slowdown in foreign student and migrant inflows and has already seen some early price slippage. The situation clearly bears watching closely. And now guys, for our final story of the week, window of opportunity closing. So house prices will rise in markets across Australia over the next two years, and that's coming from the leading real estate research analyst, Simon Presley, Managing Director of Propertyology. Supply, which was already low before COVID-19 hit, is falling while demand is steady, he reasons. The market remains favourable given the low mortgage rates, support for first home buyers, and sensible credit policies, he says. Savvy property investors understand that three to six months of disruption is minor in the overall scheme of property ownership. Presley says that if anything, it creates a small window of opportunity. After all, they are investing in the essential commodity of shelter. I think the locations with better property market outlooks are among select regional cities that offer a combination of sub-500,000 median house prices, a diverse local economy, nominal price growth during the last decade, and where the housing supply pipeline is contained. He adds that it is crucial to understand that the influence of population on property prices is grossly overstated. Well guys, they're the top stories for this week. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video. And don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series. And if you have a question that you'd like to submit or there's a topic you'd like uh, to submit as well, you can do that in the post. Now also, guys, don't forget to have a great week, stay out of the weather and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, guys, and speak to you next week.